Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the leaks as well as price movements based on leaks and information that vendors as well as some other people, maybe MTG celebrities, have about cards before they are announced to the public and my personal opinions on that. So right off the bat, we got a five color dragon commander deck leaked and Wizard of the Coast was very serious and told the person to take down all the cards, but the cards have already been put online and people have been making videos about them. What happened here is that of course, dragon based cards as well as five color based cards will go up in price. The first one we see is Xylin of the Claw, which is, it's the first one cause it's on the reserve list. Yesterday it was $3 now it is $18.54. It probably will settle, but not before being a $10 card again. So it is a heavy increase for one day and something that if you had the information about the Commander EDH deck, you can draw a conclusion that yes, this dragon card, this legend would be very good in this five color dragon deck. It would be extremely fun. Hence its current price today. It actually was in a, looks like a 45 degree decline, maybe a uh, 60, 30 degree decline. Look at the triangle on this one. Now, how do people get these, get information early? Well, in this case, it was a random person who doesn't, isn't an MTG celebrity to my knowledge and wanted to release cards every hour or every, a few cards every day to increase his Instagram account. He actually had a Twitter account before and had an Instagram account. So it was just a random guy f found a deck and the deck was the new commander deck. And there are other, to understand leaks, you have to understand how Wizards of the Coast gives out information. And they give out information, they give cards to be spoiled to random people. And we know this based on a interaction with MTG headquarters, which was very intriguing because it was a media company that gave him two promos. And those two promos were not announced so he made a announcement video. Then Wizard of Coast said, oops, this was bad. It was uh, not, we should not have given MTG headquarters these two promos. We don't condone his quote unquote behavior. This was a mistake by the media company. So if a mistake like that can be made, right? Then a mistake like somebody be, being given an entire commander five color dragon EDH deck can be made or a mistake like where we see a lot of judges being banned because it is released or the, the book. The most famous one is the new Phyrexia book where one of the pro magic players got a copy of it early because it's sent out to magazines so they can write articles about it. I still believe this stuff exists maybe not to magazines anymore, but to other media outlets, maybe to Kota uh, Kotaku uh, and other larger, maybe to Buzzfeed even, who knows what they give to these people to promote the product. One of the fascinating parts about the whole MTG saga where they recanted giving him the promos was it really seemed like no one knew that he got the promos. So here is what I'll read you some, some from someone's blog at the time. Then last week by mistake in communication, Jeremy was sent two spoilers for the next set. Jeremy looked at, looked at it as an olive branch from wizards and agreed to spoil the cards for them and did a great job. However, the typical mob, mob again comes out in the wizards community manager, Patrick Trick Garrett, again goes on record flat out condemning Jeremy and that they do not reward people with views or behavior like his. So we're not going to argue about the points of should they given it to him? Should they not have given it to him? The key here is they didn't know they gave it to him, right? Cause if what trick Garrett is saying is correct, had they seen MTG headquarters on the list 
because they had control over the list, they would made, have made sure that he didn't get those two cards. Now, I tried to go back to the history to see what was going on, but it's all been deleted. I do vaguely remember that there was a media company involved and they trick tried to blame it on the media company saying that, oh, the media company made a mistake. And that's very interesting because it's not Wizards of the Coast giving out all the cards to be spoiled. It's a third party media company. That's who approached MTG headquarters. That's who gave them the, the two cards to be spoiled. Think about that. That causes all types of trouble. When you talk about leaks from the new Phyrexia handbook to the, it's only punished when it's caught, right? So handbooks were being given out, I'm sure for more sets than new Phyrexia, but they were only, they only punished that pro and banned them for, I guess, a year or maybe two years. I want to say it was like Gilam something because they caught him and people were mad. This is the same scenario. People were mad that two cards were given to MTG headquarters. So then they blamed this media company. Should this media company actually exist, then you are dealing with a company that does not understand magic very well. And that's not aligned to the brand identity, whatever the brand identity is. You can argue if it's correct, not correct. That's not the point. The point is cards are being given to individuals and Wizard of the Coast does not know who those individuals are. That is intriguing, right? That is That will come to explain all these leaks that are happening. So this commander deck, which would have fed many, many MTG quote, quote, unquote, celebrities and given them lots of views, lots of promotion is totally gone. I mean, imagine people talking about the five color dragons. Of course, the, each of those mythic dragons would have had a ton of interest and people would have fought for those cards to be spoiled. But advanced knowledge does exist. How advanced? At least a few months, right? This deck is already printed. This deck is already made. We already see pictures of the deck. We already see pictures of the new cards. It is only when it's revealed to the public does it become a big deal. I'm almost certain that if a vendor had the same information, they would not tell anyone because that is the smartest move. If you have capital, you would buy that Zyron of the Claw because it's on the reserve list and it's a dragon card. And there's not that many dragon cards on the reserve list that are playable. And you would make a lot of money because you would be the only one who knows that this is coming. I've seen this happen many times, a bit of blossom. I've already done an example on my video before it was unbanned and people believed it was really good. There was a bit of blossoms price just went like straight up. There was a buyout on bit of blossom before bit of blossom was unbanned. And it's not like the typical buyouts that you see at Bloodbraid Elves at that level. It was a much higher level. And Bitter Blossom is a much higher index card, meaning it costs more to put money into it. So it is a higher risk of nothing happening because the percentage gains are much less. That was the first time I thought, huh, there's something that's not right with this card. I, this is not behaving like a typical card. And we see that with Modern Masters reprints. We see that with um, Eternal Master reprints. We will continue to see it because these cards are going to be con advanced information will be continued to be given to individuals and vendors, right? Who has cards to spoil? Card Kingdom, um, Channel Fireball, big YouTubers. Could they make a action based on the card if they got the correct card? I mean, the one case I have would be Vampire Hex Maids and Dark Depths. If you knew Dark Depths would get Vampire Hex Maids, you would, that card was like a quarter or 50 cents. Dark Depths was like 50 cents. It went straight up to 20 to $40 as soon as Vampire Hex Maids was spoiled. Now, if you have advanced knowledge of Vampire Hex Mates and you can be like, hmm, what card does this help? And like, whoa, look at this card. You would be in the, you would be making so much money and that would be true for this deck as well. The EDH Commander deck, five color dragons, you would say, which dragon card is on the reserve list? Oh, this one. All right, let's buy it. 
Anyway, leave me a comment below. I know this is a heated topic, but I do want to make the point that Wizard of Coast doesn't really know who they're giving promos to. As depicted from the MTG headquarters promo fiasco. Anyway, bye guys.